what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel as you can see in front of me here i have the scarlet and violet 151 ultra premium collection sitting in front of me now this is going to be one of two of these that we're going to be opening up on the channel the second one is sitting right here but in today's video we're just going to be doing one of these because these things are pretty massive there's not really a bunch of room for two of these on the table as well as we do have the alakazam as well as the zapdos ex boxes that we're going to be opening up together in a later video on the channel as well so stay tuned for those if you want to check that out now i have had these all for quite a few days now and I've honestly been super nervous to open this up. I've seen a ton of people get really good hits. And I've seen just as many people get absolutely nothing. I know my friend opened up one of these already. and He got absolutely nothing. It was almost as bad as my binder collection video. If you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. That was a complete dud. And I've been super nervous. I don't know what to expect opening this up. These things are pretty dang expensive. They're like $120. They come with about 16 packs. And honestly, aside from that, I don't even know what's really in here. I know you get a couple of promos, a gold... Uh, metal card and stuff like that. I've never actually opened up an ultra premium collection, so this is my first time. So I'm excited, but I'm also slightly nervous that we are not going to get any good hits out of here. But like I said, all we have to do is find out. And that's what we're going to be doing in today's video is finding out if we can get anything good out of the ultra premium collection or are these things all hype and way, way overpriced. So without any further ado, let's dive right into opening this thing up. I'm just going to try and rip one of these corners open, go right along the seam here. And there we go. Nice, easy. And like I said, I've never actually opened up an Ultra Premium Collection. I know they did something similar for a couple of other packs in the past. But like I've mentioned in previous videos, I don't actually... I haven't actually opened up Pokemon cards before the Scarlet and Violet era. So, here we go. We got the box right there. And once again, we got the silhouette with the Mew graphic on the box. I think this is the absolute best looking packaging ever. And then we open this up and there we go. So... If you guys can see that, geez, this thing is so big, it doesn't even fit on the camera. We got the Mewtwo right there, the promo card. We'll set that aside for now. We got the gold metal Mew. Oh, this whole thing comes out. Look at it. I don't even, look at it. That's how, <laughs> that's how like unexperienced I am opening one of these up. So that's the gold metal card right there. And then we got the Mew promo right there. So we're going to take... A quick look at that. This artwork is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Damn, that is an absolutely fantastic artwork. Then we got the Mewtwo right there. Once again, really cool artwork. I don't think it's as cool as the Mew is. It's kind of really dark. Can't really even see what's going on there. I know I still have the package on it, but I really want to keep these protected for the time being. Like I said, I do have two Ultra Premium collections, so maybe, maybe I might send one of these out to be graded or one pair of these to be graded. I don't know if you can actually grade these metal cards, but um, let me see. How do we even get this out? We got to open this. Do a little, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. There we go. We'll leave this off to the side. I'll open this later. But basically, this is just a metal version of the Hyper Rare, one that we've pulled a couple of times in these videos. Now this thing is just, yeah, it's stuck there. I don't want to mess with the packaging right now. But yeah, you guys get the idea. It's just a metal version of the Hyper Rare of the Mew. So what else is in this box? We got the deck box right here. We got the poison burn markers, we got some dice that are pink, and we got a Mew coin right there. Then in the bottom of the box, we got the super cool 151 collection. And then what is this? Is this a playmat? See, I don't even know what's actually in this. Yeah, this is a playmat. Oh, wow. Hmm, maybe we're going to have to start switching over to this one. Let's, let's get this unrolled, check this out, see what this looks like. Oh, and it's just the Mew with the silhouette logos graphic with the 151 in the top and kind of like a monotone look this is actually really cool maybe maybe the next couple of videos for 151 will actually open it up on this play mat instead of this regular old pokedex one or pokeball one and then obviously we get eight packs on each side this comes with a total of 16 packs so they are kind of expensive for the amount of packs that you get but like i said you're getting two hollows you're getting all this extra stuff and yeah it's actually pretty cool but um we're gonna put all of that to the side so we can start opening up the packs we're gonna push this off side camera because i can't stand when it's sitting in the corner we'll leave the two promos right there in the center up top but like i said we just gotta guys dive right into opening up all these packs now i am going to kind of like i don't want to speed through these like we did in the previous video where we went over my binder collection but i do want to rush not rush through them i just want to speed through them but not too fast and already we're starting off on a terrible thing because we can't get this bag open. 
what the heck some of these packs man they just don't open and other ones they open really easy but this one i don't know just not doing too good already but yeah all right first pack up we got an old amber pidgeotto magmar shelter Fero, onyx dragonair persian reverse Cedra Reverse and a Ditto Regular Rare right there. And then we got a Basic Energy with the Galaxy Hollow right there. Super cool. Still love those. Those are one of my favorite parts of this entire uh, 151 set. I wish they did that more and more. The Galaxy Hollow itself is just super cool. Like I said in previous videos, it is a throwback to the, what is it, Wizards of the Coast, I think. This is the first set to have an English version of a Galaxy Hollow Energy card since... What year is it? I forget what year is. Whatever year the Wizards of the Coast came. I can't even remember. That was so long ago. But um, yeah. So let's keep going here. We got a Pidgey, Metapod, Poliwag, Ponyta, Snorlax, Sand Slash, Nidorino, Vileplume Reverse, Ghastly Reverse, and we might have something. There we go. An Arbok EX right there. Now we do already have this card, but it's still a fantastic card nonetheless. And then just a basic energy behind that. So not doing. Oh wait, hold on. We gotta we gotta make sure we pull the hits out here, even though we already have it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I lost it. Nope, there it is. Alright, we'll put that off to the side. Jeez. <laughs> here we go. We'll put that right there and we'll move on to the next third pack of this. Like I said, you get 16 packs in this, so hopefully we get like at least one or two really good packs. Um, that's what I'm at least hoping for. Like I said, we're already doing better than my friend who got literally nothing. He he got absolutely gypped. It was it was pretty bad. He did worse than I did with my binder collection, and that was, I didn't think it was going to get much better than that or much worse than that. But yeah, here we go. We got a Fearow Reverse, Ivysaur Reverse, and just a Dragonair regular rare with a basic regular fire energy behind that. So moving right along, I think we're doing pretty okay with the pace here. Like I said I don't want to make this video too, too long. If you haven't noticed, though, in the previous video, go check the previous video. You see how differently the packs open than these packs are opening right now. It's just so weird that I've noticed how inconsistent the packs open. It's just super strange. We've got a Pikachu, Farfetch'd, Shelter, Helix Fossil, Gold Duck, Pinsir, Bill's Transfer, Oddish Reverse, Jigglypuff's Reverse, Kabutops, Regular Rare, right there. Just a basic darkness energy to end that pack off. So, man, we are... Not doing too good. This is why I was nervous opening up these UPCs. Hopefully, hopefully we pick something up and we get like, I don't know, anything here. I really want to get the Erica's Invitation. I've seen those cards are really nice. I do really want the Giovanni Ultra Rare, is it? I don't, I'm not sure which one it is. The, it's the full art or special art rare illustration rare whatever the one when he's holding he's sitting next to his persian i got a cat i love cats and i really like that card so there we go but we just got another basic energy to end that park off so not doing all that great at all so far aside from the promos we got absolutely nothing going in this video or in this pack so hopefully this second wave of cards here is going to really start picking things up because these upcs like i said have seen a lot more people than i feel like I have not seen people get, or that doesn't make any sense what I just said. I've seen more people not get any good hits than I've seen people who did get good hits, if that makes sense here. Oh, and we got another basic energy hollow right there. So <laughs> we're getting more hollow energies than we are regular cards here. This is not looking too good here, guys. These UPCs might be kind of bad luck. We might... Might just have to go back and start sticking with the Walmart booster bundles because those things, fantastic. Doing me good so far. We got a Voltorb, Krabby, Sandshrew, Seal, Tauros, Kadabra, Ivysaur, Dugtrio Reverse, Charmeleon Reverse, just a Gyarados regular rare right there. And surprisingly, this is the first time that I've pulled this card. I can't believe it's taken this long to pull it. And we just got a regular basic fighting energy behind that. So we are on the last pack in the first half of this video. So let's see if we can get some halfway mark luck here. If not, then I don't know, man. Spirit's getting kind of low over here. We just got to like, man, dude, some of these packs, they just, they just don't open. I don't know. It's very strange. It's super inconsistent on the packaging here. We got a Pidgey, Metapod, Ponyta, Poliwag. Sand Slash, Nidorino, Golduck, Porygon Reverse, 
And here we go. We got a Switch Hyper Rare Gold right there. Here we go. That is what I'm talking about. We do not have this card. Really cool card here. And that kind of pretty much saved the first half of this video. Let's put that down right there. We just got a basic Dodrio regular rare right there. And then behind that, just a basic lightning energy. So there we go. We are getting something. Leave that right there for now. This is kind of super unorganized, but no big deal. It's okay. We don't have to keep everything super organized. But yeah, man, that that gold hollow right there. If we didn't get that, that first half of this box would look at this is I hate opening packs like this, but man, they just these are just not not opening well at all. Really strange. It's really strange how some packs open really good, some packs open really bad. We got Elect Buzz Bills Transfer, Gold Bat, Leftovers, Eradicate Reverse, Energy Sticker Reverse, and just a regular rare star meat right there. And we got a basic water energy galaxy right there to end that pack off. So that's a pretty cool hit. Like I said, we do have luckily all of the galaxy energy cards so far i'm super happy we did get pull all of those now it's kind of the point where it's like oh yeah woo, we got another one got another galaxy energy hollow like they're i don't know it's strange i really do like them i really enjoy pulling them but at the same time i've got so many of them now that i don't know what to do with it's kind of funny how that worked out we got a caterpie ev grimer weedle war turtle hypno polyrath Rhyhorn Reverse, Charizard right there, Secret Rare, we did pull that already, we got a Chansey Regular Rare right there, and we just got a basic Fire Energy, so we did get a Charizard, I just breezed over that real quick, but like I said, I did get that, but now that I'm thinking about it, this is actually a fantastic pull, because this card is still worth basically what this UPC is valued at, check the centering here, centering looks a little off center, this is skinnier than that side, but top to bottom, Top to bottom, once again, there's a little bit too much on the bottom, not enough on the top. Let's see, flip this over. Now, I do have this camera zoomed out a little bit, so you guys might not be noticing things as well as before, but this UPC was just so big. Oop, the corner is just a little bit nicked right there, if you guys can see it. Not too bad, but yeah, this is still a pretty good condition card. So that is actually a really good pull. It's worth basically what this UPC is at. It's still worth about like 100 bucks, I think, so between that and we can sell that we're doing pretty okay i guess now that we pulled that so fortunately it's not one of the other cards that i do need in the collection but at least it is something that is worth pretty much the entire price point of this upc so i guess we aren't doing too bad in that grand scheme of things in the grand scheme of getting new cards that we don't already have not doing too good however getting value out of this pack we are doing pretty okay i guess we could say grimer psyduck persian muck daisy's help electrode reverse Ekings Reverse and a Nidoro King Regular Rare right there. And then behind that, just a basic water energy. So we aren't, I don't want to keep saying we aren't doing too good because technically we are doing good in value wise, like I just said, but I just wish we were doing a little bit better specifically with cards that I don't already have. Like we've pulled three hits here and two of them have been ones that I already have. So that's kind of a bummer. Goldeen, Nidoran Female, Ghastly, Pidgeot, Omanite, Tauros, Dragonair Reverse, Seeking Reverse, and we got something behind there. We got an Alakazam EX right there, so that is a pretty good pull right there. We do not have that, and then behind that we have a Hollow Psychic Energy right there to end it off. So that's pretty cool. We did get a obviously a Psychic EX with the Hollow Psychic card. I can dig that. That's pretty cool. I do like when things are coincidences like that and line up pretty nicely. So we are getting a few more packs left in this video here. I said, we're just gonna try and rip these off. I'm I'm kind of over these packs here. They are just not opening very well. We got a Pidgey, Cubone, Poliwhirl, Kakuna, Erica's Invitation. Let's get the secret art rare of that. And a Magneton, Nidoqueen, Raihuan Reverse, Cubone Reverse, just a regular Moltres regular rare behind that, and then a basic lightning energy behind that to end that pack off. So we got three more packs in this UPC. Let's see if we get some sort of luck in these last three packs. We get something crazy. Let's pull something insane. We need something insane here, but like I said, we are technically doing pretty okay with the value-wise with that Charizard card. We got a Sandshrew Seal Dope Duo, Tentacle, Execute, Rigid Band, Graveler, Electabuzz Reverse, 
and we got a Victory Bell Reverse, and just a regular Raichu, regular rare right there. We got a basic energy fighting with the Galaxy Hollow, so that is pretty cool. Like I said, these Galaxy Hollows are super cool. I really like them. Really like the fact that they're throwbacks. I do think that the Galaxy Hollow needs to be used more often. But if you did notice in the Alakazam EX boxes, Zapdos EX box, the specific variants that are in those boxes do have the Galaxy um, hollow foil pattern on them. So that's pretty cool. We got a Poliwag Ponyta Pikachu. Behind that, we got a Farfetch'd Victory Bell, Big Air Balloon, Primate, Kabutops Reverse, War Turtle Secret Rare right there. Nice. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. This is a card we do not have and one that I really did want. So absolutely fantastic pull there. And then behind that, we just got a regular Omastar and just a basic Grass Energy right there. So we are doing pretty pretty okay here we're doing pretty okay now that we're kind of at the end of this so we got one more pack last pack luck fingers crossed let's see if we can get something absolutely insane here i would absolutely love to pull a crazy crazy hit on this one but like i said at the end of the day this upc isn't actually all that bad this is a lot better than i've seen a lot of people do so let's see last pack luck let's see got a ratatat squirtle lick tongue venonat protective goggles arcanine tentacruel Hypno Reverse, Dratini Reverse, and just a regular Aerodactyl Rare right there. And then behind that to end it off, just a regular basic Psychic Energy right there. So all in all, I think we did pretty, pretty well with this video. We got a bunch of Galaxy um, Energy Hollows. We got a pretty decent amount of pulls here. The Charizard, like I said, we already have it, and this one is a little bit off-centered. However, this is still pretty valuable. This is worth about... What the entire UPC is, maybe just a little bit less now. These things were worth about $175, $165 when this set first came out. I think they've kind of settled down, kind of the hype has died down, and these things are worth about $100 to $120 right now, which is basically what these UPCs cost. So that's a pretty dang good pull. Pretty happy with that. We got the Hyper Rare Switch. That is obviously fantastic. Hyper Rares are always awesome. We got the War Total right there. This is probably my favorite card we've pulled in this video. Alrighty, really quick here before we end this video off, guys, I did almost forget to showcase the Gold Mew Metal card right here. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Now, this thing looked cool in the packaging, but once you get this thing in your hand and you can feel the texture and really see the texture and see, like, the detail in this, this card is wow this thing is absolutely fantastic i mean look at the colors look at the shine on this thing it feels the weight of it just feels insane the back of it is even kind of like textured the outer border is raised the pokemon logo is raised the pokeball is raised just everything about this is absolutely fantastic look at that shine wow this card absolutely incredible i've never opened up a upc like i said so i don't know how like common these metal cards are but this is my first one and this thing is absolutely fantastic i can't believe i almost forgot to showcase it but luckily i didn't <laughs> luckily i didn't forget by the end of this video but yeah man this thing is absolutely fantastic but with that being said guys that is all the time we have for in today's video leave it down in the comments below what you think of everything that i pulled in this video was it worth it is it disappointing or what do you guys think? But for now, like I said, peace out and I'll catch you on the next one.